What's up, guys? Ice Boy here. So Vaz and I are about to murder Duriel, and to my understanding, in Season 4 for Project Diablo 2, Duriel is now a level 85 motherfucker or something like that. So he can drop good items now, and it's well worth running him, maybe? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Let's see if he actually has decent drops. <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, gold wrap fell, I rolled 69. And I won that shit. Oh, oh, no no summons. Dumbass. Fucking toad. So anyway, Vaza has a sorceress. And I'm using a summon necro. He's actually been doing quite alright. And I'm quite convinced that archers suck ass. So I didn't even bother pumping points into them. I could just tell, man, that they just suck. Just something about them. So I decided to go kind of a golem hybrid. So you see this? So I have two golems. And let me show you their damage. And I'm putting a few points now into amp damage. So this necromancer is godly as fuck. And he's really getting there, man. He's only level 76, Ice Hog. And it's been a good way to go. Ooh, I found one of these already. All right, but nonetheless, let me show you his gear, and then I'll show you Baza's. Baza is level 68. All right, let me show you my Necromancer's gear. Ooms Lament. I should probably slam this little cute little hog. Chansey's Two Skirt Slam. Poor Man's Nago Ring. Baza actually slammed uh, Cannot Be Frozen on his Nago Ring. And I think it was a 38 Nagel? 38 Nagel. <coughs> cute little belt, cute little thing. Yeah, I need another one of those to slam it. Slam this. Bob's hooking me up with a couple uh, toe pads. But look at this. He, my, uh, my Necro has 258 freaking MF. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, let's go see what Boz is wearing. So here's the sorceress wearing spirit. Uh, he slammed, check it out, he slammed MF on those chansies. Uh, showing your gear. FCR ring with some light res. Really not a bad belt. Hell yeah, oh my god. Holy shit. What the fuck? Alibaba, you slam for Dane? Okay, yeah, the Alibaba had uh, three sockets. Holy shit, look at these boots. And he even slammed them. He slammed freaking 20 MF in them. <clears throat> Holy shit. And the clean, dirty shell. Oh gosh. Wow. Quite toad. Quite toad noob gear. Yep, so there it is. But anyway, so still a couple points, but as you can see here, uh, I can have up to two golems at once right now. I get GG slams, not bricks. There's not one I slam my own gear. In. <laughs> Hell yeah, he does. Yeah, he has that freaking Nago ring. That was godly. I think that was his second slam. Uh, but then I have... Yeah, the nice thing is you can really mix and match. Because when I hit level 60, I was already maxed out on what I was intending to do. I just wanted to max Mastery, Warrior, and Mage. Because I knew that Mages work. All right, The good thing about Mages is they can kill physical immunes quite easily. Whereas your Archers, I mean, I just feel like these guys suck ass. Uh, without even much experience at all in them. I just know that, man. Just feel it in me bones. Okay. So let me know if I'm off on that, but I'm quite sure that they suck. So I decided to go a hybrid build. Nah, I don't really need that shit. All right, but anyway, now we're going to try the trap. So here he is. <clears throat> See how well we can do the trap. I know my Necro can actually solo it. It, it takes a little bit of time. Because <clears throat> I don't have much plus skill gear. So it takes them a while. But uh, they can still actually survive all right, my minions. Oh gosh, already did most of it. Cast a little bit of damage. 
Here's a stone skin right here. I'm going to cold, so Vaza can't really do shit to him. Wow. Kicking our ass. Okay. Yeah, but the golems are a very nice addition. And without much commitment, um, you can get them to where... I mean, shit, mine are already doing more damage than my skeletons. You know, my warriors are doing... 666 damage? The golem's doing 1600. See, so yeah, a hell of a lot more damage. Really. Ooh, if only that were freaking Andy's Visage. Alright, anyway, so now we're going to attempt to murder Mephisto. So stay tuned. So, here we do be. Baza was able to teleport to him. <coughs> yeah, Ice Boy is uh, still a little sick. Alright, still a couple frogs in my throat and shit like that. Sick little green... God damn. Sick little green toad. Oh, fucking shit. Alright, so... Need to try to fetch the body back. Dumbass. Dumbass. Come on. There it is. Oh, god damn. All right, I'm gonna rejoin. Holy fucking toad. So Baza went out. Got murdered just a moment ago. Looks like there's conviction going on here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. All right. See if we can slay old Meffy. Ooh, there's Baza's gold. Hell yeah. Where's that motherfucker? There we go. So Necro can do the trick. See? <coughs> Trust the old Necro. The fuck? There we go. I owe Baza a couple of those. He can pick that shit up. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Here, fuck it, I'll get it. Come on. Come on. Where's Baza static? Hopefully he put one in static. He, he just respect. <coughs> he was a, uh, a fire sword. <coughs> I think a fireball sword is what he's saying. Gotta start it out that way. Looks like he went the route of Frozen Ore. Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about Frozen Ore compared to Blizzard in PD2 Season 4? Uh, I think they say that Oh god, what a shitty drop. I think they say that, uh... <laughs> uh... They say that, like, Blizzard is safer, you know? But I think... I mean, if you have the survivability, I think Frozen Orb is a little faster. You know, it's, it, well, depending on the player level, which most of us are probably playing players one. And if you have sufficient damage, I think uh, you can just be a, a bit more efficient. Frozen orb. But, you know, so they, they have their pros and cons. Obviously, you can hit a little bit more with Frozen orb. I feel like Blizzard might be what I generally prefer. Though I rarely play either of them. Just because uh, it's safer and shit. <clears throat> you can cast it far away and hit shit. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. We're going to give this a shot now. Satan. Gonna give Satan a good shot here. Hell yeah. So here he is in the Chaos Sanctuary. It's probably gonna be a, a relatively slow grind. I mean, my skeleton is just doing shitty damage, but... <clears throat> like I said, they can actually survive okay. So they're level 26. Golem's only level 12. Holy shit. They gotta be true. They gotta be hogs if you were to max them out. And of course, there's that new golem wand that I really wouldn't mind making. You need a charm and an ohm rune. It's called like unrelenting force or some shit. I can't remember it's <coughs> something like that. And it allows you to summon an additional one to two golems depending on the roll. But of course, you have to find a decent base as well if you don't want to waste it. Holy shit, we're getting our asses kicked. <coughs> but that wand, 
I think it would be Toad. I mean, just imagine these guys maxed out. Cause look at the synergies. Holy shit. 40% damage per level? Holy fucking shit. Oh, I didn't realize even Mastery gives them that. I might as well put more into Mastery. Hell yeah, if I put five more Mastery, I can have an additional Golem. Godly is a Toad. What does Mastery do? Okay, gives an additional 10% life for, per level. Hell yeah. Yeah, old Ice Dog's gonna pump into that some. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat that ass before. But anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I might start recording. I mean, I guess we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if we can beat it in that short amount of time. <clears throat> yeah, like, uh... <coughs> <clears throat> trying to beat the clock and shit. We probably can, right? Oh, fuck. As long as I don't die. Okay, so I still have uh, Desecrate on Switch, on the shield. Seven, eight. But you see, look at the damage he's doing to him. I mean, these guys are healing almost faster than a couple skellies. But you gotta get them, obviously, to, uh, to all hit the target, like that. <sighs> Hell yeah. But man, you see those synergies for the golems? Just imagine if you were to be a pure golem build. You max all that shit out. I mean, shit, are they going to be doing like 6,000 damage apiece? If you... Hell yeah. Droid skills. Droid skills. I don't think Baza has a droid. Yeah, my droid still sucks ass. But I, I might... Uh, for the sake of making videos and just showcasing you know, something kind of different, I might... Oh gosh, he's going to get smothered. <laughs> just pop that seal. Hell yeah. That reminds me, I need my mercenary. i got to show you dogs my mercenaries. He's wearing Toadstool Flame Sword, which... Uh, in season four, shit, it gives a resist fire aura. Holy shit, look at that crushing blow on that. Oh god, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh god, we ain't gonna make it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, he wears toadstool flame though, look at that. <clears throat> combustion and look at this the the aura it adds to your whole party he's wearing all sorts of fire shit see he's wearing hell mouth although i think that's it just those two items so buzz i think we will i don't know how the fuck we're gonna kill satan in such a short amount of time holy blood toad yeah but this is where it's at man this is a challenge and shit you know, this is the spiritual journey and shit right here. The real grind. You know, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, we ain't got the enigma. We ain't got the infinity. We ain't even got a fucking mid rune. This is the spiritual journey right there. Alright. The way Diablo is meant to be played. Hell yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, I found a map. And I'm looking forward to running that. <coughs> Baza, shit, he can't run it. Yeah, he got to be 75. Hell yeah. So once, uh, once Baza hits 75, we can run that map. <coughs> God damn. God damn. This boy has a couple frogs in his throat. Alright, I wonder if we can do that. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. Whatever. Pop that seal a little early. Need a couple more skellies up. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, he's right on my ass. See that? 
But he knows that I'm protected by my hombres. That's the thing, though. If I go golem, like, these skeletons, I feel like they're my hombres and shit. They, these my thugs, and if I go golem, it's just not the same. Golems are these ugly-ass clay motherfuckers. Where the skeletons, they look like like a, a troop of thugs. What the fuck? Look at that. Hell yeah. Give that to my droid. Hell yeah, what level? 52. What? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, we missed a seal. Did we, uh, we didn't kill the Sace? We didn't kill the Sace? Shit. We didn't, did we? I missed him last time, too. Oh. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, we missed him. He's easy to miss. Hell yeah. Racing the clock. Alright. Lance of... Okay, it's a spedum. Don't need it. Pretty toad sword. Ooh. All right, Diablo. <clears throat> oh, golems. Golems are out. Yeah, you start to really see their survivability when you're fighting Diablo. <coughs> you see that the warriors tend to do okay. <clears throat> Mages get their asses kicked. Yeah, so I just gotta respawn the golems. Damn, shitty drop. But we made it. Good to see you. Yep, at the buzzer. <laughs> so if you guys will like the damn video, hit the thumbs up button. More videos to come on this necromancer and the journeys thereof. I'm thinking I'll be finding some goodies coming up here because uh, he's getting there now. Now that I put a few points into Gollum, uh, he's really starting to shine, I think. So I'll talk to you all later. Like the damn video if you haven't yet. And to all my patrons, may your finances be blessed. But may you have many wives. Peace with you.